Hello, Radio Anna So this video has been requested a couple times and I finally think we have almost everything, like just about almost everything I'm trying to think. I still have to get some fake greenery, like some flowers and some greenery. But other than that, we have like everything and I'm really, really excited. We have about 55 days to go, I believe. And I just cannot believe it's almost here. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, before I start to like freak myself out, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the video. So I have a lot of stuff to go over. Most of the stuff is from Hobby Lobby, garage sales, or Amazon. So, and Etsy. Alrighty, with that, let's go ahead and get on into the video. Before we start, definitely give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also check out my Instagram. That'll be linked down below. Alrighty, now we can go ahead and get started. So the first item I'm going to show you guys is this. This was a gift from my sister. As I told you guys, she threw me a bridal shower. I told her not to. She didn't listen. But anyway, she gifted me this on top of the bridal shower. Yeah, she's crazy. Anyway, this is just a honeymoon fund box. You can stick it out and people can put money in it. And I think it's really, really cute. And I really, really appreciate her for getting this for us. And yeah, this was from Hobby Lobby. I don't know how much it was. She paid for it, obviously, but it's so cute. Also, I am not looking forward to putting all this stuff back in my closet. Like, it literally took me 20 minutes to get everything out of my closet. I'm about to put it all back in there. I'm not excited. This next item is also a gift from my sister. It's this huge shadow box. And I'm going to put my bouquet in here and maybe, like, Kenny's boot in here. I'm not really sure. But I think this is so, so, so sweet. It's a way for you to, like, remember some of the items from your, like, that day. So, yeah. Okay. I don't really know what else is going to go in here, but I'm really, really, really excited to put something in here after the wedding is over. I can't wait. I think she got that at Hobby Lobby as well, but again, I don't know for sure. The next item is a bag full of faux greenery. These were all purchased. Well, four of them were purchased from the garage sale site. A girl was selling them and I was like, hey, that'll be perfect because I was just going to do it with real flowers, but with this, I can resell it afterwards. So yeah, that'll be nice. But um, the rest of them I purchased myself. So four of them were bought off the garage sale site and then the rest I bought off Amazon for a total of eight, nine, nine. So they're going to go down the tables like we talked about in my last video. Anyway, it's just a greenery with some flowers. It's really, really pretty. It's nothing like too crazy. It's not like too thick or anything, which honestly I'm okay with because the tables are kind of small and I'm already gonna have two, like there's already gonna be these huge plates on there. We already talked about these last time. So that's gonna be what's like taking up a majority of the table space. So this being like slim, I'm honestly not that mad at, but these were like $25 each, I think. So all together, it was like $125 or something for all of them. Something like that. I don't honestly remember, but I'm sure you guys can do the math better than I can. But yeah, that's a full bag full of those for the tables. And I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to see everything all put together. It's just going to be so magical. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, next items. This, this was purchased off of Etsy. And this is our wedding date as well as our anniversary. But she put the 19 for the wedding date. So it says 12, 14, 19 with an infinity sign and it says love. It's one of those things that's made out of nails and thread. And I wanna say this was $25 or something, but with Etsy, you know, shipping is like so expensive. So I think it came to around 32. It did take a really long time to get to me. Um, I think it took like three weeks, but obviously she had to like hand make it. So that's understandable. But all I did was look up nail thread art or something like that. I don't remember, but um, I'm sure you can find something similar to this. It was really, really, really such a good find. And again, it's personal. So after the wedding, we can keep this and hang this out around our house. And it's going to be such a great reminder of our eternal love for each other. I really, really love it. The next items were purchased off the garage sale site where I live from the same lady. So this is a sign that says love is sweet. Not really sure where she got it. I think she might have got it at Hobby Lobby. I don't really remember. I think I paid five bucks for it and this is going to go on the cake table. And then this sign says, here comes the bride, which one of the flower girls will hold as she walks down the aisle. So, so cute. I think it's just 
really really like cute and I have three flower girls I have my cousin my niece Aurora and then my uh, family friend her name is Paisley and Aurora I think will either be pulled by Paisley if she's not walking yet and then my cousin Addison will be throwing the actual flowers so um, I wanted Paisley to have something to hold as well so she's gonna be holding this as she carries it down the aisle Paisley actually is the little girl that did my makeup in the five-year-old does my makeup video so you can check her out there She is just the cutest next. Um, I have my hair piece and I'm like so in love with it You guys I love it so much. This was purchased off of Etsy as well And it came really really cute in the box and this was I believe 35 35 dollars. I honestly don't remember but it is just so precious and I love it so much. The camera is not doing it justice. It has some like gold pieces in it, like gold leaves and everything. And then the white flowers. And I'm going to be doing a half up, half down type of a look. So basically my hair will be all curled. And then it will be like this pretty much with this at the back. So this is going to be like, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys, but it's basically going to be in the back like this and I just love it so so much it did come from Russia this literally took like a month and a half to get to me I think so if you are looking to order this you're gonna want to order ahead of time I would not wait till last minute because it did take a while to get here but it is obviously so worth the wait because it's so unique and so beautiful and I really 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 love it and admire it the next product I think this is my yep okay so these came from Amazon these are Mr. and Mrs. signs, and they're like really, really big. This is the Mr. and then the and, and the Miss sign is like right there. They're huge, and this was only $15, and it was from Amazon, so that was a really, really good purchase. I cannot wait to set this on our head table. It's going to be so cute. That was a really, really good find for me. I was just going to buy some at Hobby Lobby, but they only have like white and this is like more cute and glittery next from amazon i have two of these sequence gold table runners so basically all of the guest tables are going to have the greenery down the middle my table with my fiance is going to have this this is a emerald tablecloth these were purchased from amazon so this is an emerald tablecloth this is what we will use on our head table and then uh the two tables next to us will be our family so it'll be kenny's family on his side my family on my side and down the middle of their tables are going to be the gold sequins instead of the greenery and i think I don't know if we're going to put vases on their tables with flowers or if we're just going to do the candles. I'm not really sure, but I just didn't want everything to look the same. I wanted like our tables to look different than theirs. So that's why I went ahead and went with this. And again, these were purchased off Amazon. These were like $7 each and they're just like nice, you know? I don't know how to explain it, but just look up gold table runners and you'll find these. Again, with the tablecloth, just look up gold or not. Just look. I think I looked up dark green tablecloth. Maybe it was emerald, but I think it was dark green, and that's how I found the tablecloth. So, really, really love those. The next item was purchased off of Etsy, and these are the flowers for down the aisle. It's just an assortment of colors of all of, um, it's just an assortment of petals of all of the colors that we're using. So there's gold, cream, and then the emerald color, and I think it's just so different rather than using like, like, white petals or something it's like personalized again like I said and I think this only comes with a hundred so she's gonna have to like drop one or two every like step or something I don't want her to just like plop them all on the ground and then they'll be gone but these I believe were 15 to 20 I honestly don't remember but these were purchased off Etsy I think if you just look up like gold flower petals or something like that is how I found these and I really really love them it came really packaged cute in this bag and I think these came fast I think those were like within a week that I got that. I purchased that a while ago and they've just been sitting in the closet like everything else. Next is from Amazon, excuse me, next is from Etsy as well. This is, these, I always say this, like this and these. These are from the brand, not the brand, but the store, Hula, Hula Balloons. If you guys can see that, so if you want to check out that store. But these are balloons that I'm going to stick, I think, in front of the door so people know that that's where the wedding is because the like the area 
that we're getting married isn't like very well known it kind of is like off on one of the side streets so i don't want people to be lost or confused as to where the wedding is so it just has a nice assortment of like glitter gold emerald i think i'll insert a picture of what the um balloons looked like on the etsy page and they just get filled up with helium so i'm really really excited for these they were like 11 dollars, i believe these are all three purchased off amazon and they are for my fiance the groom and the ring bear this is so cute this is going to be for my cousin he is the ring bear and it's just a little little suspender set and i hope it fits actually he's like 10 years old is this meant for like three year olds or something i hope this fits anyway this is for it's a unisex kids bow and uh, suspenders in dark green all of this stuff was either in the shade dark green or emerald on amazon that's how i found a lot of this stuff and then we have these ones one of these is for my fiance and then the other is for his best man and they're really really nice i believe each of them was eight dollars honestly don't remember these are in the shade forest slash emerald but you can see that and basically anything i find on amazon i like do a lot of the research i don't just pick the first thing i see i go through and i read the reviews on everything that way i know i'm making a really good purchase and everything that i've purchased i've been satisfied with so far except for one item this is a total flop i got this off the amazon website for um something to wear under the dress and i wanted something strapless because it is a low back and all the reviews said this was like really really good but uh it, it didn't hold up my girls right okay it like was on there and then it would just like slowly start to like rip off like this would like start to unstick so don't buy this it was only ten dollars so i mean it's not like that bad but i just i wouldn't trust anything like this unless you're like really small in the chest area so yeah that's the only flop item from this uh haul the next item are these these are curtain lights and basically they're going to be used they kind of look like this if you can see on the picture these are going to be used for the back of my fiance and i we're going to have a backdrop with like a white curtain the curtain lights and then the thing i showed you guys in my last video which again the first haul video i will link up in the cards so you guys can watch that first if you haven't but it's going to have the ring the embroidery ring with the greenery and the m in the middle and then the lights and the curtain so i think that's going to be really really cute and just simple you know what i mean these are i believe 15 dollars and yeah, there's not really much else to say about them. I got mine in like the warm shade. So it's going to be like this like, yellowy color over here. So I just got some dessert plates. I was going to get gold, but I didn't want to like overdo it with the gold and everything like that. So I just got these like clear, they look kind of weird because the film is on them, but they look like better from what I saw in pictures. It's just like clear little plates. And I got a pack of a hundred for I think 15 to 20. I don't remember, but they're pretty nice plates. And this is just basic as you can tell it's just a basic part of the wedding stuff you know what i mean so happy with that getting to the end the next item i purchased was this this was this this is from the brand Faybox box bridesmaids or something like that and these are little corsages i didn't really know how to do the corsages for uh my wedding because our theme is so weird it's not like a certain flower or anything it's just a lot of greenery so it was really hard to find like a greenery type corsage but these there's four of them one for my mom one for my uh mother-in-law one for kenny's stepmom and then one for her not does the, my sister get one or no because she has a bouquet my mom, Kenny's stepmom, my mother-in-law. I don't know. I might just have an extra one. It came with a pack of four. So, but these are really, really cute. And everyone on the review said these are really, really cute. And they are, they're just these little uh, corsages. So basically it has like a little bow in the back and then it will tie like this. So this is what it's going to look like. I love my moms, my moms so much. I can't wait for them to have a little moment with this and it's just gonna be really cute this was like $15 I think I honestly don't remember you guys I'm really really sorry but if you just look up white corsages or like white rose corsage I'm sure you'll find this it's Fay box lastly you guys I have two huge boxes of floating candles but I'm not about to whip them out because they're so heavy but these are literally huge okay I did not think they were going to be this big, but like, let me try and compare it to something. I don't even know what to compare it to because I don't even have anything this big. They are just seriously huge. Like they are like a hockey puck type thing, you know? And I think I got 
it was like 72 for $30, 72, I think it might've been $36. I don't know, but I tried these in my vases. Remember we talked about the vases and the, the floating candles and this does not fit in the smallest one, which I think is four inches across. So I, I ordered a little thing of medium, tea, medium. I always want to call them tea lights, but I don't know if they are. I call them floating candles, but I bought a pack of medium ones. It was $20 for, I believe, 12, $12 for 20 candles or something like that. So those are coming. I have Amazon Prime, so those should be here tomorrow. But yeah, these candles are huge, 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 huge. So when I read the reviews, I saw pictures and the these, I think... These were in one of the small cups from what I could see, but just beware when you're buying candles um, to read the reviews. I think these are going to look really, really good in the bigger vases, but again, they just don't fit in the small ones, but that's okay. I just bought littler ones. Well, that was it, you guys. I thought it was a lot. I mean, it is kind of a lot when you put this and the first video together. Oh, I also have a palette. I will insert a picture of the palette because it is literally huge. It's a palette and I bought it off the garage sale site. Someone was selling it and it says you and me on the top and there's like string lights with like uh, clothespins and I'm going to put a bunch of pictures of my fiance and I and it's just going to go in the front. I also have the M for the guest book in there, but it's just huge and I really don't want to get it out. I'm not even going to get it out. Maybe I'll put a picture of it. Maybe I won't, but it's just a big M. I think I talked about this last time and we're just going to use it as our guest book. Other than that, I think that is honestly everything. Oh, I should show you guys my wedding shoes. They're so pretty, but they're literally in the other room and I kind of don't want to. I got them off Amazon though, and they were from the brand Dream Paris and they're these gold sequin shoes. They literally look like the shoes from Wizard of Oz. Yeah, Wizard of Oz. I was going to say Wizard of Waverly Place. I don't even know. They look like the shoes from Wizards of Oz, the red ruby slippers. They're like, but gold and they're so pretty. They were $25. So they are by the brand Dream Paris. So if you are looking for shoes on Amazon and they are by the brand Dream Paris, I recommend them because they are really, really pretty. Other than that, you guys, I think that is everything. Pretty sure that's everything. That is everything. We have two months to go. That's literally gonna fly by because this entire time has flown by and I cannot believe it. Like I'm going to be married. I'm going to be a Mechalon and it's really, really exciting. And there's going to be a lot of tears and a lot of crying, a lot of laughter, just a lot of everything. I cannot wait. And I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I hope they were helpful for some of you guys. I'm really, really sorry that I didn't like keep the exact names of everything. But again, on Amazon, anything that you look for, just read the reviews. Most of the stuff that I got was four and a half to five stars. I made sure that I read the reviews because they are extremely helpful and they help you get the right things. And again, just watch the garage sale sites where you live. People are always getting married and reselling their stuff. So that's how I acquired a lot of this. I am thinking of doing like a video. I don't have a videographer for the wedding. So I'm thinking of maybe like filming a video of like the reception area, like before people start getting there, obviously like once it's decorated, I might take a video. I might have someone video like me and my fiance so that you guys can see us like how we looked that day. But obviously I'm sure I'll have pictures and I'm sure I'll talk about the wedding once it's done. I, I still don't know how I'm gonna do my makeup for the wedding. <laughs> I have no idea, like I literally have no idea I don't know like I have no idea I, I know for the face like the face I have down I like glowy skin you know full, like full coverage all that kind of stuff but when it comes to the eyes I don't know how I'm gonna do my makeup so I might do a couple more videos on that other than that you guys my wedding videos are gonna come to an end here soon because it's about damn time we tie the knot because we've been together for eight years almost so this is a long time coming and I'm really 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 excited like excited anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments below if you're getting married i want to know your guys' colors and themes and everything like that i hope you guys have a great day wherever you are and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye